In April, Gallup released a poll showing that 83% of kids in grades K-12 are participating in virtual classes. And while it may be easier for high school teachers, this type of learning is a completely different story for those in elementary schools. Marianne McDonough is a kindergarten teacher at Willow Hill Elementary School. Since the COVID-19 outbreak, she's changed her style of teaching entirely and speaks to the challenges of teaching remotely. Kindergarten is hands-on, so not being able to uh, show the children how to do things more readily, face-to-face um, -face time with them. I mean, almost everything about kindergarten is not online, so that's been a big struggle. Most of the instruction is done through PowerPoints that are sent to the students to complete on their own. However, there is also time where the whole class meets together. I do Zooms with them twice a week to check in on them um, socially and emotionally, so that's fun. Usually I'll uh, feature whatever the letter of the week is. So uh, last week was the letter U. So the first Zoom, I had them bring something that had the short sound of U. So they brought different things uh, to show and share with the class. And then the second Zoom, we did the long sound of U. Additionally, her school has taken some creative measures to stay connected. So one of the other ways that we're trying to reach out to our staff and students and basically everyone at our school is we're doing little short video clips and they put them together as a montage. So those are just a way for all the students to see the teachers that they normally would see um, throughout the day. Marianne isn't the only educator in her household dealing with teaching remotely. David McDonough, principal of St. James School, is able to speak to her efforts as both her husband and an administrator of a middle school. And I think she's doing a pretty good job um, interacting with the children, whether it's over on the phone uh, with their families or whether it's making sure videos herself to keep five-year-olds engaged and excited about learning.